this right I could push on to the pawn <coughs> get rid of the center pawn make some space for our queen and bishop bishop can attack their bishop and yeah go for the center and maybe look for the queen exchange here if they take then we just take with the queen they're moving fairly quick actually this is like a 15 minute 10 second game so the knight can take back so they do actually so we might as well take like we say we've got the bishop that can attack oh it's moved again down could we go with the bishop attacking no he's attacking the knight at the minute we could push the pawn up smaller piece attacking the higher piece can't be wrong so rooks don't have any place in the center of the board really so i mean our knight could come back around to attack the bishop but we do have the element of bringing the bishop discover check on the on the rook knights hunt the bishops in our mantra so we may as well go with that but it's also attacking this little, loose little pawn here ideally we'd like to attack the bishop but i think the bishop's just going to drop one and if they drop one we suppose we can move our bishop and attack because we've got the support of our knight little things like that because yeah so he does drop so we could bring the bishop up to attack it at some stage really um, fancy thoughts of attacking the king area but that's no good let's bring the bishop up attacking the rook and then realistically looking to actually attack the bishop as well if he doesn't leave the rook there do have the pawn behind the rook as well but i think the essence is bringing the bishop here to attack their bishop so it's about waiting to see what the opponent actually does here And they've moved the rook supporting the bishop so a smaller piece attacking a higher piece again can't be wrong and the rook really doesn't have any place in the center of the board in my eyes but if we push the pawn up the bishop will take our rook so we could take the pawn here with the bishop or we could lean on to the rook uh, don't want to get the bishop trapped because we could go up there could push the pawn down and then our bishop is kind of trapped in the back so let's go and attack the bishop if they capture we can capture with the pawn or capture with the knight the knight will be then on their rook so that will be quite tasty uh, he doesn't have to take but we'll see what happens from here he could attack he could bring a pawn down pushing onto our bishop his rook could do something fancy so just waiting to see what they're potentially going to be doing they've gone into a long, long thing now they did move very quick in the early part of the game but we've always said haven't we the aspect of moving fast doesn't necessarily put you in good positions it does look frightening when people move fast but what we work on with our end game opening with the sort of answer process the concept behind that it's about really having good position when you're doing your attacks and working your pieces together as best possible so they've gone for a long think and they're protecting the bishop so we could just take the bishop off the board and if the rook comes up we, we can challenge the rook I suppose or we could now push onto the um, onto the rook because now his rook can't come down the side and if his bishop takes our knight can take knight can take the bishop so the smaller piece attacking the higher piece is looking more fruitful than ever because the rook doesn't have anywhere to go so they're losing a lot of tempo now if we actually push on to this rook and we're further developed on the board and their poor king has definitely not even got castled it's still in the middle of the table board sorry so in essence we could chase this rook around if he moves backwards or to the sides so a smaller piece attacking the higher piece can't be wrong uh, yeah i don't see it have any issues with that i mean like i say if the bishop does take the knight can take the bishop now so the diagonal that they've got through to our rook is not too scary so they've moved down so we could push up but he'll take our pawn here 
So we could in essence take the bishop now. Pawn takes. So then we've got like central control of the of the um, file with maybe a rook. We bring the knight up, supporting the pawn on B, and then we can push up the pawn onto the rook. So let's uh, capture. <clears throat> Still have sights of the pawn in the corner. Can grab that. If the king comes and gets it, we've got a safe haven. We can bring it back. I'm not necessarily wanting the bishop to take it just yet, so let's just try and get a better position. Still have the idea of bringing the knight up so that we can put pressure on the pawn from the pawn onto the rook, condensing the, the rook in. Let's just bring the knight down, so that's pretty straightforward. Got all the pawns that can put pressure onto his um, bishop here, but our idea is now to really get this knight across and get this pawn pushed onto the rook now that we're supporting the pawn with the knight. Whew. <coughs> So that's all pretty straightforward, utilising the rooks don't have any place in the centre of the board um, concept. So now we can attack the rook and then we can push this pawn past. So we don't need to take. Okay, so a nice steady push and then we can lean on the rook again with the, a small piece yet again. Control, trying to manage the square that it really wants to go to which is potentially attacking our knight. So. They've not taken the opportunity to do that, so we may as well push this pawn up, blocking the access for the rook here. So the rook is now kind of not really in an appropriate position. So we can push on to the bishop, that's all pretty straightforward. Now controlling this B, or managing this um, B file seems quite fr fruitful. Also the D file as well. But maybe the, you know, the B file looks more promising because we can actually attack the rook going through and, and manage that square so for now just bringing the rook through onto the D but we've got to focus our energies because now like the opponents just pushed down here onto the B pawn I think if we can manage that we can get around the back and hopefully get some sort of back rank checkmate so this picture is growing quite nicely for us so I don't think we need to move our rook to the C file now if they do still capture the pawn, then our rook is owning this B file, and then we can go around the back. So that's looking pretty straightforward for me. And they do actually capture, so we capture here. We're not going to go steaming in there, but because his king hasn't castled and he's not moved his king to a virtual castle, it's going to give us that tempo to actually get a touch on it. And our knight is for currently in front of our rook at the moment but we'll be able to get both of our rooks up there eventually at some stage so we can capture just making space more space now just in case if the game gets goes a bit longer we can potentially corral this pawn up and get like a, a little promotion going on uh, yeah I, I would have expected his king to have moved because now we can in theory go and take the rook but I'm not too interested in actually going for that and uh, oh well the knight's blocked anyway so that's made my decision so now we can look to get our other rook up there and face off their king so how do we do that let's get some distraction work going so if we bring our knight up then if the bishop takes then fair enough we can take with the pawn then we want to look at this other knight potentially coming to attack their rook to make space on this D file so that our rook can sit on D8 and then potentially if this knight doesn't get taken the two squares that are aside of the king um, it's going to be a checkmate so this rook can go shooting up to D8 now if he doesn't do anything and yeah so we could in theory just I don't know what that rook move was but we can go up to the top D8 he can put a check on us but then the rook will take his the knight will take his rook so it's not in a very good position and he's moved dead quick there but that's checkmate 